No, but prior to the basic structure dropped in itself, it could be done. No, Parliament. No, no, how can we say that Parliament could not have exercised its plenary amending power? This is not basic to abrogate to abrogate Article Three Seventy. This is not basic structure, brothers. This is a a, a a a a compact between one sovereign and another in, in grafted in our constitution. It's a constitutional compact. Correct, but that was not the position as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. I'm not, Malad, I'm not saying anything. I agree with my, what my Lord is putting to me. But how do you change the constitutional structure? There must be some power. Malad, the problem is that if there's a constitutional process to do it, it can be done. If there is no constitutional process to do it, then it has to be a political act. Please so say there not? is a constitutional process by which it can be done under 371. No, you can't do away okay, with 370 sub, sub clause 3. No, suppose, after all, orders have been issued from time to time bringing different provisions of the constitution right. in force. Right. Can you not say that another order be issued that it can under one saying that all the provisions of the constitution apply and list them all of them and say all of them apply? You know, the problem the problem there is if you say all the all of them will apply it applies to what the concurrent list and uh, and the instrument of accession mr sibal it doesn't apply to the other parts in so far as clause d is concerned yes there are no limitations if you, if you read it that of the provisions of the constitution shall apply in relation to the state subject to such exceptions and modifications as the precedent may by order specify correct this is done by second proviso correct provided further that no such which relates to matters other than the, those referred to in the last preceding proviso shall be issued except with the concurrence of the, yes. that government. Yes. Uh, the Treaty of Accession, Defense and uh, Commerce. That's and correct. So That's correct. And, if, and the lists involved there. And the list involved. Correct. So suppose if the parliament yes. decides to make the entire provisions of the constitution applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. Yes. Yes. Under clause D. Yes, there is. That's the point I'm making, Mother. Because the structure of 370, and in the context of the of the of the legislature of Jammu and Kashmir, is that the residuary power remains with the state. Because the distinction is that insofar as those concurrent under... list and list and re, and uh, instrument of accession are two separate things, but there's no issue there. They can do it both under 371. No issue. It's our instrument of succession. Those. Are... Only, are concerned, only four items. Their, their only requirement is consultation. 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 That's correct. In so far as the clause D is concerned, the requirement is more stringent and concurrence is required. That's list three, mother. That's concurrent list. Residuary power is always with the state. That's the problem. That can't be done by any process. Even under 370 sub clause one, sub article one. That's the problem. But I see the point that your Lord is making. My Lord is making that, look, once the constituency assembly is over, then, of course, there's a status quo. It can't be changed. It's what my Lord is putting to me. Yes, there is. But then we have to find a constitutional procedure through which it can be done. It not amount to equating it with the principle of basic structure itself, that it can never be done. Like you cannot, and that also through a judicial pronouncement, no, the but philosophy let's, of uh, let's, uh, basic let's, structure. Let, all right, let's not talk of 2023, mothers. In 1950, what was the position? This was the position. That it can't be done. No, but prior to the basic structure dropped in itself, it could be done. Parliament, no, no, how can we say that Parliament could not have exercised its plenary amending power. This is not basic. To abrogate, to abrogate Article 370. This is not basic structure, brothers. This is a, 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 a compact between one sovereign and another in, in grafted in our constitution. It's a constitutional compact. Unlike, unlike other states where Malads, where Junagar Malads, he didn't agree. You, you, you know, as a political act, you took over Junagar. He ran away, the Maharaja ran away, Malads. That, Mr. Ka, Mr. Sibyl, there, I mean, then I think we are treading on thin ice because the moment we say that this was just a recognition, this is a recognition of a compact between one sovereign state and another which forms a part of our constitution, then such a sovereign compact is capable of being overridden. That's all right, but so then we can by the sovereign of the succeeding state. That that debate is a separate debate which doesn't arise in this case because there's a procedure that they have followed. That debate doesn't arise here, Malat. 
We're not, not talking of that at the moment. That's not an issue. We are talking about a procedure in terms of 370, which they followed, consistent with the interpretation of 370. Having taken that position that we need the, we need the consent of the Constituent Assembly. Is that's, this the Constituent Assembly according to you? Yes, yes, that's right. That's the procedure. That we've, uh, we've we're only that on that. We, yes, of course, we have appreciated that. We are limited only on that. That the process, part. in other words, your contention is that the process which the Government of India followed yes, assumes that the proviso to Clause 3 applies, yes. that this change has to be brought in through a Constituent Assembly. Correct. But this was evidently not the Constituent Assembly okay. because A, it was a Legislative Assembly that you have invoked and two, even that Legislative Assembly was dissolved and ultimately Parliament was exercising that power in the 356. Now the larger question, supposing your Lordships were to say this is not the right procedure, then the question will arise, can they do it through any other procedure? Then what my Lord is putting to me may arise. But we're not on that issue. We're not giving solutions to the other side that you can do it under 370. I don't know what where that comes from. So that's we, we, there's a limited constitutional issue before you, which is the process, the power and the process. The power is in 370 sub article 3. The process is what they followed. Can they do it under 370 sub article 3? And is this process right? That's the limited issue that your lordships have to decide. If there are other processes available under the Constitution, if they follow them, maybe, but that may be valid, may not be valid, but I can't answer that question in a vacuum. But my Lord is right. What my Lord is putting to me, the problem is the residuary power is with the state, and I've shown your Lordships, Mullah's provision after provision, from, right from the Delhi Pact in 1952, that that's the case. But then what happens to Article 363A? 350? 363A. That, that also earlier, the recognition was on the basis of the pact between the various uh, princely states it's and. Different. Mullahs, those pacts were there, recognition granted to rulers, but Mullahs, either they completely assimilated themselves into the union and be part of a state, or they were taken over. Either yeah, Hyderabad on the, basis, or on the basis of certain agreements between the states and the principal Correct, states. But those agreements the... were different yes. from this agreement. Malaz, your lordship is right. If it were that kind of agreement, then your lordships would apply those standards and those principles and those uh, uh, judicial dictums which your lordships applied. Why not on so that? Your, here, your argument is that the uh, un unless the views of the entire populace of the Jammu and Kashmir are taken to consideration. The abrogation of 370 can't yes, be done. Yes, that can be done. But, but that's then, 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 then the, the negotiations were not between the elected body. The election, the negotiations between well, because the, the princely state and the union. Correct, and that was accepted. That that very thing was accepted by 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 the then constitution makers. So, but as we can't go into so high what was accepted, in so far as the other states are concerned, it it, it could be taken away by 363A. Correct, but that was not the position as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. I'm not, Malad, I'm not saying anything. I agree with my, what my Lord is putting to me. But how do you change the constitutional structure? There must be some power. 